Incidocs is an embedded document management solution inside of Sage 100. Um, so one of the really great things about that is it's not, you know, a separate piece of software that people have to learn or that needs to be installed. It gets installed right inside of Sage 100. Um, so it's really easy for people to, you know, get up and going with that. If I go to something like customer maintenance, I'll notice that the Instadocs tab is added here to customer maintenance. And we add this Instadocs tab um, to just about most of the maintenance and data entry screens um, in each of the modules that we have Instadocs for. Um, Instadocs we currently have for accounts receivable, accounts payable, inventory, purchase order, and sales order. Um, and we're also in the process of coming out with Instadocs for general ledger as well. Um, so that'll be out in the next several months. Um, so if I look here at the Instadocs tab, you'll notice I have a directory. And now you would typically set up that directory to be a path on your server um, to a shared uh, file storage location. Um, so it could be something on your server, or in my instance, I have this set up to go to my SharePoint directory. Um, so when I add documents in here, it's also storing these documents in SharePoint as well. So the really great thing about doing something like that is that all of that's being synced to the cloud and I'm not using my server space in order to do that. And again, as I would mentioned before, you can do this with things like OneDrive, SharePoint, um, Google Drive, you know, any sort of uh, cloud storage options that give you uh, the ability to have a path in Windows, you can point Instadocs to that path as well, okay? So, you know, how do you use Instadocs? How is, um, it's really simple to use. You know, once it's installed again, it adds this Instadocs tab, and then I can take any sort of documents that I have, um, whether that be PDFs, Word docs, it could be any type of file. Um, I can drag and drop those and it's gonna be storing that information um, in my Instadocs directory, okay? So, you know, Standard Sage has the ability to do things like memo codes, things like that, where you can create a memo, type of code, put an attachment, right? Downfall of that is you can end up with multiple, you know, tons of memo codes. Um, it's not very easy to access, difficult to maintain. Instadox is just super easy because we can just take our documents and drag and drop those directly into my Sage 100 screens. And you'll see that Instadox tab again on things like customer maintenance, vendor maintenance. Um, if I'm in an invoice, I can go to invoice data entry, uh, drag and drag a document in there, sales order. If I drag a document onto a sales order, um, that's gonna flow through to the invoice, to the customer, and it stays attached um, to that, uh, you know, through the life of that of that document, right? So it'll flow through from sales order to invoice date entry to invoice history inquiry. And sometimes too, we have where people want to, you know, they have invoices that are already posted, right? I can go into invoice history inquiry, and I can even drag and drop, drag and drop documents in there. Of course, none of my invoices are opening. Here we go. So I could come into invoice history inquiry even after it's been posted and drag and drop a document up to that as well. Let's go here. And that's gonna store that. Now again, because I'm saving this in SharePoint, right? I can use this in a variety of different ways. So um, for example, here I have my phone. So here's my cell phone. And I have a SharePoint app installed. This is just the standard Microsoft SharePoint app. Um, this particular document here is on 01 ABF. So let's go to 01 ABF. And I'm going to see all of my documents for 01 ABF on this, you know, on my phone as soon as I drag and drop them in. So if I go back to my customer here, let's do another document. Got lots in here. Let's see this one. So I'm going to drag and drop this here. I'm going to refresh my phone and I have my new document added right down here, the MBBD. So as soon as those things are saved, they're stored up in the cloud. They're easily accessible on, you know, a mobile device, 
from a web browser, anywhere where you can access that SharePoint directory. Now that would still be governed by your, you know, Office 365 security rules, um, but you have all of that information up there. Um, and as long as I have permissions to open that file or that directory, I can see that information there. So there's my sales order. Now the cool thing about doing something like that too is like once you're using something like SharePoint or OneDrive, um, then you can start utilizing all this other Microsoft technology in order to um, kind of enhance that whole experience. So let's say we're creating different documents or we're saving different files. Um, I can do things like, you know, I set up this uh, email notification uh, through Microsoft Flow which looks at my SharePoint and it gives me a notification as soon as a file is added. Okay, so as soon as I add a file, it's sending me an email notification letting me know who added the file and where they added that file. Um, I can also do things like post that information to Teams, right? So we use Teams here internally um, and I think a lot of people are utilizing Teams um, for internal communications. You know, you can set it up so that, you know, you know, through your Microsoft flow and things like that, that you're posting different information and it's creating a message in Teams. And a, this is actually creating a link, you know, so people in that group, people who are following that channel are going to get a notification and they're going to see that document and they can click on that um, and access that. So just a lot of really cool things you could do, you know, kind of combining the Office 365 technology, um, and also using that from a storage standpoint as well. You know, most people who have Office 365 licenses, I think it's something like one terabyte of storage space per user. You know, so that can go a long way. Uh, you know, that's oftentimes a concern with people is like, well, if we start storing all these documents and we start storing all these PDFs, are we gonna have enough server space? And that's really why something like SharePoint or OneDrive or Google Drive can really come in handy because you're not maintaining all that storage space. Okay. <clears throat> Some of the other cool things that we've done um, with Instadocs, um, if I go into sales order entry, we've also done things where we've added the ability to, um, we've added this option here where you can attach tag documents to email deliveries. Um, so if you have, um, you know, various documents or files that you've included um, on, let's say, a sales order or a, a sales order invoice, you can enable this. And if you're using Paperless Office to send email deliveries, it'll send you that Paperless Office email and it'll also include the Instadocs documents as well. Um, so I think I have a sample here of what that looks like. You know, so they'll get their Paperless Office invoice like they normally would and then they'll get the additional attachments for anything that was dragged up to Instadocs as well. And the cool thing about this is this is always, it's gonna work with other things too. So one of the things that we talk about, and um, I think one of the documents that Kimmy shared is this also works with something like APS's Click2Pay. So a lot of times people will use this in conjunction with Click2Pay um, and what Click2Pay Click to pay provides is the ability to, you know, add a button to your paperless office invoice um, so that users can then, you know, once the customer receives the invoice, they can click on the link and be directed to the click to pay portal to make the payment on the invoice. Right. So, you know, we always kind of work together with, um, you know, any of the other ISVs that we work with to always make sure that our enhancements kind of work in conjunction with all those things. So a lot of times we see people utilizing something like click to pay with Instadocs as well um, so that they're getting those <clears throat> emails with all their information uh, regarding the invoice plus then the customer has the ability to pay the invoice too. So very cool um, being able to use paperless office, office 365, click to pay, it all works together. Okay. And did we, no questions? And um, some of the other things that we've added to Instadocs also, um, one of the things that I um, haven't shown you yet is the super search. Um, so we have this super search with inside of Instadocs um, and that's gonna show you a list of all the different files and you can search by different tag names or file names. Um, and we do have certain circumstances where let's say people 
um, let's say someone goes out to the NCVAX directory just through Windows. Let's say they have, let's say a rogue IT guy who just starts deleting files. Um, <laughs> if the files start getting deleted, so I'm gonna go out to my directory here. Let's go to accounts receivable. And I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna delete some of my files. Yes. So once I delete those files and I go back into the Instadoc Super Search, you'll notice that a bunch of these have red um, text on them now. So that's telling me that there were those records out there because we're keeping track of everything that you drag and drop into Sage Windows, right? Um, so because we're keeping track of that, when we do a search, we can easily look out there and see that these are things that existed out there previously, but someone delete, deleted those files. Um, I can leave that information in there, or I can select to remove the tags, and that'll remove all the orphan tag records. Okay. The other thing that we've added recently, too, is the ability to actually move all of the directories. Um, so if you're inside of uh, our Incidoc setup options, if you go here. Uh, no, not this one. If I go to my Instadoc setup options for, let's say, accounts receivable, let's say I don't want to be, you know, putting those out uh, to my SharePoint anymore, and let's say I want to move that to a different location. So I have an Instadoc folder here. So what it's going to do is it's going to say, do you want to apply this directory change to the document management tag file for all existing documents? Right, because we have all those tag records out there, we have all that information on all the customers out there, um, and I can say yes, go ahead and apply that change. And then it's also going to ask me, do I want to move those documents? Now, you could do that manually yourself if for some reason you wanted to manually move all those files, um, or you can just say, yep, I'm going to move those, and it's going to move all the files for me. It's going to take them out of that folder and move them all into my Instadocs folder that I've just pointed that to. So really easy way to take care of moving that. Let's say someone has a server move, maybe there's an upgrade. All you have to do is go in and repoint those paths and it's going to update all the information in Sage and move all the documents in Windows. Okay. Now it's processing my changes. <laughs> I have a lot of files. <laughs> 